I'm Rory, my age is nine, I have autism. Do you know what autism is? It affects one in 100 people in the UK. An estimated 50,000 people have it in Scotland alone. Autism is a disability uh, that affects how someone interacts and communicates with other people around them. It's a lifelong disability. It's often picked up early in childhood, um, but many people can go undiagnosed. Autism is a developmental disorder that affects social communication, imagination and play. It affects three main ways in which we interact and communicate with each other and we say this affects their social imagination, their social interaction and communication. And somebody with autism will find processing any social information difficult across all those three um, factors. People have different views on autism and the following people have their own way of describing it. Autism is when there's a, a confusion in speech or in behaviour or in patterns of response um, and it can take different forms. I can tell the clinical description. It varies because as far as I believe it affects people differently. Some people are more inward than other people and you know it does have all different effects. It is a condition that affects children I think from the age of two upwards and it's basically it basically means that they are locked to their own little world, is how I think of it. That they have communication difficulties. It affects in many different ways, but it can affect family members more. It can affect the rest of the family as well, and with normal daily routines. You've got to go about your daily routine to suit Rai. Like if we're going shopping in it, Rai doesn't like the noise and the hustle and bustle of the shops, all the different noises and sounds and that. And of course his space, he needs his space. So I like claustrophobic, doesn't like to be closed in, things like that. So you've got to watch for things like that. I'm striking out if people get too close to him or what. Mm. It affects Caitlin because we can't do the normal daily stuff with Caitlin. Like go to a park, take him to the park or the cinema, mm. things like that. So Caitlin misses out quite a bit. Autism affects, it's reckoned about 1 in 100 people will be on the autism spectrum. And we talk about the autism spectrum because the variability within autism is so great. Um, it can range from people who have very significant learning disabilities right through to people who have what's known as Asperger syndrome. So people who come across as being very articulate but will still um, have features of autism. It's my chart for like the weekend and I go in the morning and that when I wake up I ask my mum and dad if I can get my game and then I um, cuddle them when it's morning and this is Knuckles and this is um, Eggman, this is Tails and this is Sonic. The best thing you can do is to be as understanding as possible. Realise that for somebody with autism quite often it takes them longer to process information uh, relating to social relationships. They also find it difficult sometimes to understand language. It's important to be clear and direct with language because they may misinterpret what you're saying. And it's also important to give them time to you know, settle into situations so that they're comfortable where they are and that they can cope with whatever environment that they're in. To help someone with autism, you can find information on the National Autistic website or ask your local GP to find out more. Yeah. 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 Yeah.